Here we have a Garmin 182 that came in for repair. That's the back cover or the front cover of the device. And I have the device on my bench. It looks something like this. I have not worked on that device before. The customer mailed over a cable so we can replace for him. The cable looks something like this. Two issues. We have two issues. Issue number one is, let me locate where that cable needs to be soldered, right here. We need to figure out if we have to solder it like this, the cable, or like this. And how do we figure that out? Unless we have another Garmin in front of us to see how that cable is soldered, or unless we have a picture that we can grab online, we're not going to be able to figure it out Unless, of course, we look at the wires. Notice how we have a black wire. Black is ground, right? The second wire from the right is black. So what I'm going to do is measure the second pin from the right and the second pin from the left and see which one is ground. That way we know how to orient the cable. Meter in diode mode. And we're going to test the second pin from the left and we do not have ground because we are reading 0 0.65 voltage drop and if we measure this one we have a ground so we know the black wire should go here now the second problem which is a major issue is if we flip the board we have a big screen maybe I should show it to you on camera and not under a microscope you see how we have a screen front of the board the problem is the screen is connected. Look at this stupid design. The screen is soldered from the top and from the right, right, or from the left. You see how the screen is soldered from the left and from the top? And that cable, that connector is a through hole. If we're going to put the cable in, we have to solder it from the back. But we cannot remove the screen or we cannot tilt the screen upwards because it's soldered from the top and from the left. The only way to take the screen off would be to desolder the flex cable from the board and that's risky because if we damage that flex cable we cannot get another one, we cannot get another screen or the screen may cost more than the price of the device itself. We're not going to take that risk to desolder the cable. If that was our only option then we would do it similar to how we solder a charging flex cable on an iPad. Whether it's an iPad mini, iPad Pro, iPad Air. The way we solder a flex cable, you can look it up on our channel. We have a lot of videos on how we replace a charging flex cable on an iPad exactly the same way. Let me see if I can focus. Put the light down a bit. You see how that flex cable, the flex cable has lines that run through it. And each line is connecting via this pad that solders on to a pad on the motherboard. So in order to remove that flex cable off the screen, we have to desolder all the pins here. And to desolder the pins, we either have to apply hot air or low melt solder, soldering iron, and we may damage that flex cable. That flex ribbon is very thin and very sensitive. I'm looking online right now. It looks like the LCD sells for $76. Not bad at all. And the LCD is coming from China. Shipping is $27. And we still have to solder the LCD onto the board. Wait two, three weeks to get the LCD. It's going to cost shipping plus tax close to $110. And we still have to solder the LCD onto the board. Why take that risk? Right now, we said the ground is second pin from the right. Let me just verify. That's ground, so we know black, so we know the connector should go like this, okay? Where black is second cable from the right. What about the pins that are broken inside here? What are we going to do about them? Let's say we push that pin inwards, it may short out the circuit from back of the board, the circuit that's between the screen and the board. Now, once we solder that cable on the board, there's no reason why that Garmin 
should be opened again or there's no reason why that cable should break again once we have it on the board then we should be okay it doesn't have to be through hole because right now we do not have an option so what if we just solder the pins like this very nice look at that solid connection I mean once the pins are soldered they're not going anywhere we need flux that's why I always say flux is your friend if you want better than factory joints you need good quality flux okay so we need more flux I'm using original Amtec flux we are one of the largest distributors of Inventec Amtec Flux. You can buy it directly off our site, whether it's wholesale or retail. Just log into northwishfix.com. Click on shop, add to cart, whatever you need. We carry everything from soldering stations, hot air stations, thermal cameras, this amazing microscope, articulating arm, flux, tweezers, braid wick, pliers, whatever you need. That connector is surrounded by very tall capacitors and the capacitors are getting in my way. We have one here, we have one here, we have one here. So I have the soldering iron pointed vertically. It's coming down at the pin and we're done. We did an amazing job. We did not take that risk, possibly damaging the screen we did not do through hole soldering and we figured out that ground is the second pin from the right and we're done and like I said once that device is closed it will last forever we're done I'm gonna hand the device over to Big Boss to reassemble and test I hope you enjoyed the video let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll do something else in the next video.